Okay. So we're going to use our calculator to evaluate the cosecant of 5 pi over 7. Now I'm not sure why they didn't just write it in the notation. So cosecant 5 pi over 7. This is not a special angle, so it's not one we would know. Um, but we can do this on our calculator. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure it's in radians. So if your calculator is not in radians, put it in radians. Mine is not in radians, so I will switch it over to radians. Now you might be thinking, well, that's going to be a hassle to always have to change between degrees and radians. That's true. A lot of times, though, you'll be doing work um, either with degrees, so you set it in that mode and it'll last for a while, or you're going to be doing radian work and then you'd set it in that mode. Um, you're not always just switching back and forth, but... That is a good idea to always check, make sure you're in the right mode. Okay, so radians. Now we're going to make it 1 over sine of 5 pi over 7. Uh, by the way, we know it's rate. we need to be in radian mode because it's not degrees, okay? So remember, if it's going to be in degrees, they have to have the degree symbol. So it might be some number like 3.14 but it would have the degree symbol. But if it's in radians, it might be a number like 3.14, but it wouldn't have the degree symbol, okay? And a lot of times it has pi, so that's kind of a clue that it's in radians as well. Okay, so one divided by sine, and then I'm gonna put five. I want to use the pi button, so I'm using the pi button. So it's one divided by sine, 5, and use your pi button, divided by 7, and make sure you close that off at the right time. So, what do we got? 1.2, I'm going to go 279. I'll go three decimal places. So, 1.279. That would be then the cosecant of 5 pi over 7. 